rate us. Now let's let's imagine. Let's imagine you have to rate us now. Let's imagine you have to rate us now. Right? Let, let's imagine you have to rate us now. Right? Let's imagine like this. You have three and you have two. Right? Zero, one. Right? Now let me tell us like this three. Okay. Let me tell us like this. Now in the in this in this technique, what happens is now instead of comparing this one location, holding this location and comparing with all, I will just move this location data. For example, if I found a greater number, okay, I will I'll concentrate on the greater number. Uh, you know, the smallest number it was here, right? I will push up a greater number to a last. You are getting the point? Pre previously, I will I was taking the smallest number. I was I was taking the smallest number to here. Now what I can do is now I'll put this greatest. If I found the greater number, I'll put it put it to next one. If I found the greater number, I'll put it to the next one. For example, something like this. Okay, for example, like this. In a of zero, if I have if I have a greater number, if a of zero is greater than, for example, like this. If a of zero is greater than a of one, right? If a of zero is greater than a of one, in this case, a of zero is greater than a of one. If it is so, I'll swap it. How do I swap it now? Simple thing, right? So a of zero, a of zero. Ah, this pad writing pad. I don't know. Wait a second. A of zero and a of one equals to a of one comma a of zero. Swapping. Swapping so link is needed, right? One condition, one swapping. I other one is looping. Looping is for repeating this part, right? Now a of zero is greater than a of one. Yes, it is, and I'll swap it. What will happen now? I'll write two here, and it will become what three. Next, what I'm gonna do is now is now what I compare is I'll compare this one and three, one and two. I'll compare this what one and two again. I'll come here. I'll make sure that there's not zero now. I'll make it sure what one nine two alternate. One nine two alternate. So whether whatever you have it in one is greater than seven? No, I'll keep it like that only. You got this point. You got this point, right? Let me take a large data. Okay, let me take a large data. Okay, let me take a large data, and you will get to know about it. How it is? What are we gonna do it? Okay, simple logic. What are we gonna do it now? Right? Ha 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 ha. Wait a second. Take it. Now, what I'm gonna do is now here is simple thing. I will take a large data. Let me take a large data. Hmm. What is the data? Eight, seven, three, two, nine, four. Some random data, right? I'll say like what? Zero, zero, one, two, two, three, four, five, right? Four, five. That is what I am doing it now, right? Now what I'm gonna do it now? I will just tell us if a of zero, if a of zero is greater than a of one, I'll swap it, right? If a of zero, if a of zero, if a of zero is greater than, is greater than a of one, right? If a of zero is greater than a of one, what I'll do it now? I'll write a swap, swap it. I'll just write swap it. Swap what? Zero comma one. Right, simple thing. Swapping logic, you know it. So I'll write swapping technique. Right. Now what I'm gonna do it now? After swapping it, what will happen now here? What will happen now? What will happen now? What will happen now? Now seven will come here. Seven. So instead of this one, seven will come here. Seven will come here, and eight will go there. And eight will go here. Take care. Seven will come here, and it will go here. Now next, what I want to do it now? One and two. I want to do it. All right. Next one is what? One and two here. So in one and two, what is that now? It is greater, so that's the reason what I'll do it now. What I'll do it now? Three will come here, three will come here, and eight will go here. Now again, what I need to compare it now? Two and three, I want to compare it. So two and three is what? Eight, eight, eight should eight, eight should go here, and two should come here. Two will come here. The greater number will go will travel now. Two will be here, and eight will be here. Now eight and nine, who's greater now? Swapping will not happen. Right, eight and nine swapping will not end. Eight will stay over there only. Now what happened now? Now three. Now after that, now what will it now? Three and four will happen. Swapping will not happen for this condition. Swapping will not happen. Right, it will stay. Now next what will it now? Four and five. I want to compare it. Four and five. 
4 and 5 I want to come 4 and 5 I want to compare it 4 now it is in 4 I want to compare with 5 now who is greater now this 4 is greater 4 sorry 9 is greater 4 will be here 9 will be here in this iteration the last the highest number will be at the last in that that one what the smallest number will become what first right in the first iteration the smallest number will be at the first in this the greatest number will be what at the last depending my, on logic can you see this one guys 0 1 1 2 2 3 4 5 4 and a 3 4 4 5 what is this now there's nothing but what if i tell j is equal to 0 if i tell j is equal to 0 you are comparing what a of j is greater than a of j plus 1 all right and j should run till where guys j should run till where if this is 5 it should only run till 4 means length of a is nothing but what length of a is nothing but what 1 2 3 4 5 6 length of a is nothing but what 6 but this should run till where 4 now your your success your looping will run till where less than 6 but it should run till where less than 6 minus 1 this is what should be a logic main logic 6 minus 1 why 6 minus 1 because your j should run till where 4 now j is comparing it what j 0 0 0 0 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1 then 1 1 plus 1 is what 2 then 2 2 plus 1 is what 3 it, it goes like this right i will i'll just i'll just go through the iteration for you i'll just throw the iteration for you what is the number here what is the number here 8732 94 873294 873294 okay 873294 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, a of 0, A of 0, comma, A of 1, A of 1 is equals to A of 1, comma, A of 0. Right? This is what the swapping taking is. But next time, what, what, what will happen now? This will become 1 and this will become 2. This will become 2, 3, 4, 5. Like this, it will become. What will do it now? I'll just allow for, for J in range of, J in range of, what will do it now? Length minus 1 away. Right? Length minus 1 away. For this one, what will do it now? For this one, what will do it now? I'll just say like what? This is J. This is J. This should be what? J plus 1. Right? I'll put up inside the for loop. That's the reason I'll come here and I'll come here to this one. And for this one, I'll do it what? J. And this one is what? J plus 1. And this one is what? J. And this one is what? J plus 1. Right? Now I can put up in the function. Since I have called the function, I can call in the form of the function also. Uh, that's not the big deal. So, mm, I can do whatever we, uh, you know, we wish for. Uh, what I what will do it now? Shall I call it in the form function itself? I'll write a function now. Okay, for example, def, I'll just allow this a bubble. Take it. I need to pass a and I'll pass it what? L E and length. Right? Le length I'll pass it. Now I'll put up like this and I'll put up like this and I'll put up like this. Now, what I'll do it now? This will this will be calling and this will be calling. Take any problem. So I'll run this. Now you can see this iteration, this, this numbers, how these numbers are generated. Right, if I run this program, okay, if I run this program, invalid syntax, ah, okay. Uh, okay, if, okay, I forgot to write it for you. Okay, if, so if I run this program, okay. Can you see this one, guys? Can you see this one? Can you see this one? Uh, uh, error, okay, selection. Uh, uh, my bad, wait a second. I have written bub, right? I want to call bub, right? bub -bub, and i'll call it what bub and this technique is called as bubble sort and i'll tell you why it is so and i'll run this program okay can you see this one guys 8732 8732 94 8732 94 8732 it didn't get sorted wait a second okay the logic of swapping j plus one and this should be what okay now if i run this program you can have this one Can you see this one now? The nine is the last last number. Seven three two eight four. Seven three two eight four. Can you see this one here, guys? Seven three two eight four. Seven three two eight four and nine does. This is with the one iteration. Now just imagine if I run this logic, if I run the same logic, if I run the same logic one more time, guys. There's running only one time, right? That's the reason the next number came. If I run one more time, it will come to here, right? The highest number is what next highest number is what eight 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 this eight will come to here now 
right? For example, like this. Now you can see this now. Now this logic, I want to run it two times. Okay, I'll just tell you like this. This same logic, I want to run how many times? Two times, right? Now you can see this. Now to run this two times, what I'll do it now, I'll just have for i in range of 2 l tell it. Okay, I'll run it for 2 l tell it. Now I'll come here and I'll put it here and I'll put it here, right? Now when I run this program, the next second highest number will come at the last, right? Second highest number will come at the last. Can you see this one guys? Eight and nine is sorted. Now if I run three times, seven will come here. Right now I'll do this one now. Now I'll run this how many times now? Three times I'll run, three times I'll run. Now if I run three times, how many times it'll run now? If I run three times, how many times it'll run now? Three times, last three digits will get what? Sorted. Can you see this one now? Last three digits is getting sorted, seven, eight, nine. Right, 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 guys. Now if I run one more time, this actually it is sorted. Okay, this actually it is sorted, okay? Now, because you know, like you don't have anything to sort now. This is the normal data now. The worst case I'll give it. Worst case is giving the reverse order. For example, like this. For example, like this. Uh, you know, like nine comma eight comma seven comma six comma five comma four. Right now, you can see this one now. Right. So three, three, three times I am running this logic. So three datas will get sorted. Uh, the last three highest number is getting sorted. Right. Can you see this one now? Last three digits, seven, eight, nine is getting sorted. This is not sorted. Now, if I run one more time, if I run one more time, how many times I want to run it? Four times. Four times if I run it. Okay, I'm just telling you how many times this data should run. That's all it is. Okay, if I run this four times, what will happen now? If I run this four times, can you see this one, guys? Six is coming here. If I run one more time, five will come here. Right? I will run this five times. I'll run this five times. I'll come here and I'll run it five times. And when I come to here, when I tell him five times, and my data is getting what? Completely sorted. Four is done, and my data is completely sorted now. Do you want to sort for sixth time, guys? Do you want to sort for the sixth time, guys? Do you want to go for sixth time? No, sir. That means what, sir? I want to do it now. Normally, length is what, sir? Six, sir. How many data you have it now? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. You have it. Zero, one, two, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, you have it, right? This should run till where? Less than five. That means what I want to do it now? Length minus one, I will tell it. Length minus one, I will tell it. So if I run this program, I am done with this. Uh, there is one small logic which we need to, you know, you know, you need to go for it. I'll just tell you what is that is. Can you see this one, guys? The, both the things are sorted now, right? Right, 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 right. And this concept is called as what? Bubble sort. But bubble sort will not end here. There is the normal logic for bubble sort. Okay, it's a easy peasy logic. Okay, so look on here. In this logic also, there was a sorting, there was a condition. Both the things are same thing. But in condition, it is nothing but y i is greater than j. But this is what j is greater than j plus one. That's all it is. Right? Here also length minus one. Here also length. But bubble sort you can do it in the best order. Okay, according to me, what all the best order you can see it. You know something like this. Bubble sort is you know like sorting from the last. Sorting from the last, right? The last data is getting sorted. All right, guys? Can you see this one, I guess? This one is sorted, this one is sorted, this one is sorted, this one is sorted, this one is sorted. Right? This is a pattern like this. You know that pattern? Uh, for example, like this. Okay, come, wait a second. You know this pattern? You, you know? I'll, I'll just draw it. Wait a second. If I have a space, I'll draw it. Look, look, look here. This data should travel till this much in. Okay. Next, it tra should travel till till here. Till here only. Next, it should travel till here. Next, should travel till here. Right. Next, it should travel till here. Next is only should. Next one don't want only. This this iteration you don't want. You know this is the pattern which you come across. This is what the pattern you come across. That means this is for this one. It is n minus one. This one is what n minus one. Next one is what? N minus N minus I. Can you see this one now? N minus one minus I. First one is five till less than five you go for it. Less than five you go for it. Till five you go for it. Next you go for till where? Four. Next you go for till where? Three. Next you go for till where? Two, one and zero. This one you don't want. Right? That one will take care about I. No problem with that. Can you see this one guys? Four, three, two, one, zero. That logic is this one only. 
right? I told you in a pattern programming, right? Same logic, n minus one minus i. I will write this logic over here now. Where I will write it now? Here, I'll update it. That means it will, the time complexity thing, take a n minus one minus i, I will write. That's all it is, I'll, I'll update it. If I update this one, the iteration will be less, the speed of programming will be more, that's all it is, right? So look on here, guys, it is getting sorted. Both are getting sorted, but this is easy for a computer, right? One more thing, one more thing, okay? They tell it, there is a time complexity which we need to come across, but when I tell the time complexity, we'll, you know, like we'll talk about this. In the best case, bubble sort will run till n square itself. Okay, the best case is what? When the data is already sorted. Okay, I'll just tell you the count now. Okay, I'll just tell you the count now. When the data is already sorted, for example, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The data is already sorted, guys. But this will run till how many times you know? I'll just tell you. Okay, I'll just tell one, one variable called as z. I'll just tell one variable called as what z. Wait a second. N square means you will get to know what is that is. Okay. I'll just tell one the variable called as what z is equal to zero. Now each time when z is coming here, I'll just increment it. Okay. Each time when z is coming here, I'll just increment it. When z is coming here, z is equal to z plus one. I will tell it. Okay. After printing all, okay. After printing all, okay. So this is a function, right? After printing all, I'll just print what z. I'll print it. Right. What is the length of z? one two three four five six seven right now this data is sorted but how many times this program will run that's what the concern is right so when i run this program look on here guys this is running till where, what time 21 time how many times it is running 21 times it is running the program is running 21 times 21 times it is running because of this one you know like when i told minus i if i don't write minus i what will happen now just just think that just by not writing minus, you know, like minus i. If I don't write minus i, it will run till 49 times. Okay, seven times of 49. No, it might uh, plus or minus 49 times, or 36 times. Six, six, six data because last data it will not take it. It'll, it'll run till 36 times. All right. By just telling minus i, by just telling minus i, I can reduce the number of iterations. Just telling minus i, I can run the number of iteration. For normally, okay, in the worst case, that is where I am re reducing it. How many, how many iteration reduce? 15 iteration reduce for the seven data for six data. Right? Now what I'm gonna do is this is already sorted. This is already sorted. When it is already sorted, that means it is comparing with here and is not going inside. For example, one is greater than two, no. Two is greater than two, three, no. Three is greater than four, no. Four is greater than five, no. Five is greater than six, no. Six is greater than seven, no. That means my data is sorted. That means swapping didn't happen. Right, swapping didn't happen. Now, what I'm gonna do is now is I will take one flag variable. I'll take one flag variable called as here. I will take it and small flag variable. Okay, it's for each iteration. I'll take it, make it what f is equal to zero. I will write it now. If it is swapping, if it is swapping, okay, if it is swapping, what I'll do it now. If it is swapping, I'll just sell it as like this. If it is swapping, I'll just sell it like this. Ah, if it is swapping, I'll just write f is equal to one. I'll just activate it. That means it has been here. You got the point, right? I'm writing f is equal to zero. It is coming to J loop. If you are swapping means if you are, if you are, if it is a greater number means it is getting swapped. That means it's not a sorted order, right? If it, if it is not going inside, this means f will remain what zero itself. That indicates me, that indicates me f is what? That means what? My data is what? Sorted. That's the reason I'll write like this. If, if not of f, if not of f, I'll write it. I'll just select like what? Break or it. I'll break from this loop. That's all it is. Now, when I do this one, okay, when I do this one equation, okay, what will happen is one data like this, if I do this one means, look on your case, for the sorted order, for the sorted order, it will run what? Six times only. Only six times it will run. Can you see this one, guys? It was reduced for 14 times. One iteration is less, right? This is called as n time. In the best case, bubble sort will run what? n number of times if you write a logic like this. Understood? Take down this. That's all it is. So you, you don't want to write Z here. You don't want to write Z here. Just Z is for to just to show you. Okay. So how to reduce this equation? Why these equations are really important? To show you this, that's the reason I have written this Z. Z is equals to plus one. Okay. I'll come here and I'll write. I'll erase this. Okay. Any queries here, please? Any queries here? You got to know why I have written this one. If F not equal to break. 
if not f if break and f equal to zero why here i'm refreshing it here okay if f is equal to one it will not break it it will go again i will increment and i again will become what zero again you will start iterating it and this equation length minus one minus i n minus one one minus i reversing order right that logic is very important 